The number of positive cases doesn't include folks who test positive at home because those results aren't reported to the Department of Health, which is keeping track of the numbers. And some folks aren't getting tested even if they have symptoms. KITV4's Aali'i Duklo joins us to explain why. Aali'i. Well, Marissa, Dr. Scott Miskovich of Premier Medical Group Hawaii says the newest strain of BA5 is getting around the immunity people have built from contracting previous strains. Miskovich adds many people don't test if they get sick soon after recovering from COVID because they think they'll still have that protection against the virus. With the BA5 strain taking over, Miskovich also believes it's time to extend the mandatory quarantine period. COVID's not going away. We are still well in the middle of a pandemic, so we need to understand that. Words of urgency from Dr. Scott Miskovich, who believes because many who fall ill with COVID take at-home tests that aren't included in the state's case count, Hawaii's actual number of infections is five to seven times higher than what is reported. Based on infection data from around the world, Miskovich believes the BA5 variant is now also the dominant strain in Hawaii and already accounts for over half of Hawaii's infections. Because BA5 replicates quicker than previous strains and attacks cells from a different pathway, Miskovich says it withstands immunity built from contracting other variants. It is very perplexing to a lot of people because they'll be sitting here saying, oh, oh I just had COVID a month ago and I start getting this congestion and coughing, that is something we're trying to emphasize with our patients. Don't take it for granted. You still should test. As COVID numbers climb slightly in Hawaii, Miskovich is pleading with national experts at the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention to extend the required quarantine period from five to seven days, with mask wearing five days after. He argues the current five-day isolation period is insufficient for preventing COVID spread. It only represents about 60% reduction in the people who will still be spreading. You have almost a 50% chance or more that you are going to be spreading the virus if you go back out on day six or day seven, the whole way up to day 10. On top of BA5, there is another strain Miskovich warns is on the rise. BA 2.75, currently ripping through India where the Delta variant emerged. That is the next gray cloud and storm cloud on the horizon. It's so contagious, it's already pushed BA5 out of India. Miskovich says he and other health experts nationwide are pushing for a new vaccine that will include protection against BA5. He says the shot could come out in the fall and could be open to all age groups. Ali Iduklo, KITV4 Island News.